Hashtag Ask Goji Man. I went vegan 12 months ago and for the last four months I've really been struggling with sleep. Any ideas what could be causing this and how I can fix it? Great question, let's get to it. Roll the titles. Welcome back, it's good to see you all again. If we haven't met before then, hi, I'm Goji Man. I'm currently finishing a Masters in Nutrition and qualifying as a nutritionist. And next year I'll be studying for a PhD in Nutritional Science. I do plant-based nutrition videos every other day in which I answer your health questions under the hashtag Ask Goji Man. So if you have a question for me, then hashtag Ask Goji Man in the comments below and I'll choose one of these to answer in my next video. So before I jump into the question, a big thank you to each and every one of you. In the last two months, I've gone from 3,000 to over 10,000 subscribers and I'm literally blown away by all of your support. And I promise you, we are literally just getting warmed up. I also want to quickly thank my wife for putting up with me randomly talking into a camera and spending a fair amount of time each week editing these videos. She fully understands where I'm trying to take this channel and is so, so supportive. Emma has also recently started her own vegan channel, which is a lot more lighthearted than this one. So please share the love, go over and subscribe, and I will link her channel up in the description below. So let's jump into the video. Now for many people as they get older they find they sleep less and less and this can be frustrating, exhausting and detrimental to their overall health. Now one of the main things that people need to keep in mind and is often not even considered is that when you fall into sleep your body starts pumping out growth hormones to repair and maintain tissues in your body. So it is critical that you get enough good quality sleep so that your body repairs properly. And the problem today is that we have an epidemic of people who are not getting adequate sleep and do have poor quality sleep. Now these statistics on the subjects can often be hard to decipher, but I would say that upwards of 40 to 50% of adults struggle with either falling asleep because they are too wired, or when they do fall asleep, they experience consistently bad broken sleep. So if you do fall into one of these groups, let's look at some of the main reasons and causes why you are having sleep issues. So say you fall asleep between 9.30 and 10 and you wake up an hour and a half later, so say around 11.30, it can often mean that your body doesn't have sufficient levels of B vitamins. So if this is you, then try upping your intake of spinach, broccoli, beets, lentils and asparagus, etc. to ensure that you're getting a wide variety of B vitamins. You also need to ensure that you are getting the correct form of B12 supplement for your body. Now I've done a video specifically on which form of B12 that you should take, so be sure to check it out here. Also, if you are someone who falls asleep, say around 9 to 10.30 in the evenings, and then wakes up at 1 to 1.30 in the morning, as well as maybe grinding your teeth in your sleep, then it could be a clear indication that you have parasites and other nasties in your gut and body. The reason I say this is that parasites and other nasties tend to be most active during the early hours of the morning, say between 1 and 3, and this activity can therefore interfere with your sleep hormones. If you think this could be you, then I would strongly recommend that you seek out a good local naturopath or functional doctor who can assist you with a parasite cleanse strategy. And they can obviously do various stool tests, etc. in the process. Also, if you're someone who wakes up maybe in the early hours of the morning, say 3 to 4 a.m., then these are usually people who have overdone it on sugar and stimulants throughout the day. So sugary drinks, sweets and caffeine are often the main culprits. So if this is you, then you obviously have to address this and get out of the cycle of propping yourself up with sugar and stimulants. So here I would suggest that you do this gradually over a couple of weeks and slowly replace sugar and caffeine with nuts, seeds, fruits, smoothies or any other healthier alternatives that are not going to impede your sleep or affect your blood sugar levels. So if you think you fall into one of these sleep categories that I've discussed and you have tried to implement some of my tips and they have not worked, then here are also some other more complicated causes of why you aren't sleeping properly. So for example, today, so many of us are caught up in the rat race of life and it can be incredibly destructive on our sleeping patterns. The reason for this is that they are constantly running on that rat race wheel, which causes them to be incredibly stressed. Also, if you are someone who jumps into bed at a reasonable time and you are so exhausted but so wired that you can't drop off to sleep, then this could be a good indicator that you have too much copper in your body. High amounts of copper in the body can cause issues with static electricity and also interfering with the body's nervous system. So if you are someone who often gets a lot of buzzing or white noise as I call it, or if you get a loss of tinnitus but only when you first try and get to sleep, then it could be a sign that you have too much copper in your body. 
So again, if this is you, reach out to a naturopath or functional doctor to get tested. Other connections to poor sleep that people often don't make is that they are simply consuming too much wheat or too much soy or you have an intolerance to these foods. So simply try removing them for a couple of weeks and then see how your sleep changes and then reintroduce the foods again to see what happens. So all of these strategies I've discussed so far will require a bit of trial and error to see what is causing your sleep issues. These next tips that I give you, you can implement quickly and everyone should be adopting these strategies as they will help everyone. Firstly, if you have any lights in your bedroom after you've turned the lights out, such as an alarm clock light that illuminates the room, then cover them up. You need the bedroom as dark as possible. Any lights that illuminate the room can stimulate the pineal glands, which will impede your overall sleep quality. Another simple tip for everyone is to eat lots of vegetables that contain tryptophan, as this will help with serotonin levels, etc., which will improve your overall sleep quality. So eat foods like potatoes, cucumber, mushroom, walnuts, and cauliflower. Also, if you are someone who exercises in the evening, then don't exercise three hours before you go to bed. Exercising will increase your cortisol levels and make it much more difficult for you to fall asleep. Also, put down the phone, get off the computer and stop watching television at least an hour before you go to bed. After a busy day, you need to give your brain some r and &R. So come off social media and maybe have a herbal tea an hour before bed. Chamomile is a very good choice. Also try putting on some guided meditation as I find this really helps. So that's the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, if you have a question for me, then hashtag AskGojiMan in the comments below and I'll choose one of these questions to answer in my next video for you. And as always, remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.